I never had such a wonderful pal. She likes me, and I go for Annie's cousin Fanny. Every night at seven, I call at her door. Annie doesn't live there anymore, but I don't care, cause I go for Annie's cousin Fanny. Her lips are like honey, kisses like wine. She says them all for me. She's not like her cousin, she's one in a dozen. Fanny ruined Annie's popularity. She always stays at home and she answers the bell. She tells all the others to go to well. Now you see why I go for Annie's cousin Fanny. Annie changed her address, took her name off the door. I don't know why she didn't do that before. She gathered up her coat, took her hat off the shelf. Now I can have my Fanny all to myself. I like my Fanny. I go for Fanny. Annie's cousin Fanny is a gal for me. A gentleman with a top hat asked Annie for a date. He said, I'll bring a friend for Fanny. Meet us at eight. They drove out in the woods where they could be alone. Annie's cousin Fanny is still walking home. I like my Fanny. I go for Fanny. Annie's cousin Fanny is a gal for me. Now Annie and Fanny were friends long ago. And everywhere that Annie went, Fanny would go. But Annie's boyfriend Harvey said, give us a break. They tried to shake Fanny, but Fanny wouldn't shake. They couldn't shake Fanny. They couldn't shake Fanny. that Fanny did will give you a laugh. Fanny built a house, but it didn't have a bath. So Annie called around one day, and she said to Fanny, that's a very funny house, my dear. It's so uncanny. I like for Fanny. I go for Fanny. Annie's cousin Fanny is a gal for me. Now, Annie's cousin Fanny is a sweetie of mine. She stays at home and waits for me all the time. You may know some girls named Annie that are divine, but you never saw Fanny half as pretty as mine. <laughs> Fanny is the sweetie of mine.